Welcome back. I'm Steve Thronson. Today, we're going to talk about some scary mistakes that you don't want to make as a seller. We're going to help you avoid that. Some of these mistakes can cost you thousands and being in this business, I see this every single day and you don't want to go there. Trust me. So let's talk about a few of the things. The first thing is not getting your home prepped for sale. We talk about this a lot. We've got a full other video on it. I really encourage you to watch it, but this is where a lot of people miss out on thousands. So this is the idea of getting it ready, getting some paint on the walls, getting the staging, all that stuff. Check the other video, but don't neglect it. This is the biggest bang for your buck that you can do. Number two, not understanding the market and pricing it wrong. So you might be looking at what the market did three months ago. You might be looking at the market somewhere else. You might be looking at a different type of property. Maybe your neighbor told you something. What we want to focus on is your market. So what are homes like yours in your neighborhood selling for? And then you want to price it right. One of the most fatal mistakes you can make is overpricing and underpricing. The next thing is timing. So we've got two different levels of timing here. We've got the macro, where are we in the market cycle? And we also have the short term cycle. One of the most critical mistakes I see people make is they will just simply time it wrong. And sometimes life says it's time to move. That's hard to work around. When we start talking about timing from a micro, you have some opportunity. What you don't want to do is you don't want to launch a listing on a Saturday and you don't want to come up short because the first offer came in and maybe nobody saw your listing. We want to have sufficient time on the market without going overboard. That's where you're going to find the sweet spot, highest chance of generating multiple offers and the best chance to get you the biggest number. The next thing is not marketing with the right tools to the biggest possible audience. I've said, and I say it again and again, trained monkeys can sell real estate in certain markets. You can put a cardboard sign on your lawn and somebody will probably come by your house in a hot market. But here's what happens is if only 10 people see your house, yes, you're going to sell it, but wouldn't it be better if tens of thousands of people saw your house? That is where you're going to generate the biggest opportunity to get the best number for yourself. So don't miss this. Sometimes you can save a few dollars and cost yourself tens of thousands of dollars by not marketing it correctly. I hope that makes sense. The next mistake that a lot of people make when they're selling their homes is neglecting the first offer. I can tell you from experience, other real estate agents will tell you the same thing. The first offer is usually your best one. So if you have your house listed for 650,000 and an offer comes in at 645, that might be your offer. Too often, a seller will get, I don't want to say it, but a little bit greedy and they'll say, that's not good enough, do better. And sometimes that person never comes back. And sometimes two, three weeks later, you might be selling for 50,000 less, 30,000 less. Take that first offer seriously. If they're committed enough to make that offer, they're serious about your house. The next thing is not having an experienced advisor and negotiator working for you. You can do all of the right things. And then when you do get an offer, if you're not negotiating it correctly, and a lot of people think they're good negotiators, it's something that you should leave to the pros. I mean, you could probably pull out your own tooth if you had to, you could do your own dental work, but you're going to go to a pro. You're going to get somebody who does it every day. And that's what you need to be doing in this space is get an experienced advisor, get somebody who knows how to negotiate working for you. It might mean the difference between 10, 20, 30, $40,000. And I can illustrate that time and time again. Don't neglect it. There are a lot of real estate agents out there. You've got tons of choice, too much choice, one might say. But like anything, they're not all created equal. You want to find somebody who has the experience, the track record, and the skills to get you where you want to go. Are there more things that can go wrong? Yeah, you bet there are. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. But these will prep you to minimize some of the opportunities to make mistakes so that you have the best chance of winning. Of course, we're here to help. If you're thinking about selling your home, think about it as an expedition. If you're climbing Everest or something like that, you're going to want the right guide to get you to the top, get you where you want to go. Never too busy to help. So give us a call anytime and see what you've been missing out on.